Now, it is a preventable and a curable disease, but the WHO says malaria still kills a child every two minutes around the world, mostly in Africa. However, buoyed by hopes of a new vaccine, the WHO is hoping to reduce the infection rate by 90% by 2030. And to mark World Malaria Day today, our science reporter Shirley Sitbon has been looking into the issue. She's with me right now. Shirley, um, just tell us, first of all, how malaria is actually caught and how these vaccines can work to prevent that. Well, let's see a drawing which explains how this all works. It starts with a mosquito, uh, a mosquito, an Anopheles mosquito, uh, which actually comes from Greek, two words, not and benefit. Obviously, everything is negative with this mosquito because it brings disease and it brings a, par a parasite into the body, uh, the sporozoan parasite. Uh, uh, and you can see uh, in uh, this uh, uh, drawing that, first of all, the mosquito, uh, well, it bites a person who's healthy. The, the mosquito is infected. Then the liver gets infected. Then the blood sets get infected with uh, that uh, parasite. And this brings about the disease. It seems at the beginning like a, a simple gastroenteritis, uh, but it's more severe. There is a fever. Uh, then uh, treatment needs to be taken. It's extremely important. We can see the mosquito there, that type of mosquito that brings the disease. If the treatment is not taken, the disease can get much worse. Uh, there's more fever, shaking, uh, and then even this can come to a, to a coma and death in some cases. Uh, you, you've said it, the number of cases have increased in recent years. Uh, this is extremely serious. That's why the vaccine is so important. It's developed, and its goal is to target the parasite in uh, the body uh, so it does not uh, arrive in the body and so it prevents uh, cases of infections. And Shirley, let's talk about the vaccines then. What are the results um, from those that have been developed so far? Well, the results are extremely promising. There was a first vaccine two years ago uh, from a British uh, laboratory, which had a 60% effectiveness result in the testing, which was a good beginning. It brought a lot of hope. But now there's a, a better one, even 77% uh, efficiency. That's from uh, a vaccine called R21, uh, Matrix M from Oxford. And uh, there are less cases if it works out. And also, um, the cases are less severe. And what the World Health Organization is hoping is uh, to decrease the number of deaths by 90 percent. So first of all, 90 percent less people get infected. And then even those who get infected get uh, more mild symptoms and a reduction of the number of deaths by 90 percent. That's the goal. And there's also, well, BioNTech and which is developing uh, also different types of vaccines, not the traditional type, but the ones like the COVID-19 vaccines. And that's happening in Germany, but there are labs also in African countries, like in Rwanda recently, there was a, a BioNTech uh, lab that was settled there in Rwanda to develop specifically that type of vaccine to fight malaria and other diseases. And Shirley, vaccine development all the more important at the moment because Climate change apparently has led to an increase in the number of malaria infections. Tell us why. Well, for several reasons. First of all, uh, if temperatures are warmer, then there are more mosquitoes. And also, well, we've had with climate change um, a lot of uh, cat catastrophes, uh, many uh, tragedies, uh, climate events that was uh, uh, really uh, devastating. And they brought uh, flooding in many uh, situations. This is the result of, um, of um, Freddie, you remember, that hit Malawi and Mozambique? Well, this brings uh, various uh, waterbeds, and that's where mosquitoes develop uh, and proliferate. So that has brought new cases uh, of malaria, and it's also here in uh, Pakistan. Same thing, uh, an increase in the number of, uh, of cases. And you know that also, um, well, since temperatures are getting warmer, it's also reaching new areas um, and also higher altitudes. Every year, six meters higher, more areas. And what is also noticed is that people who have lived for a long time in areas where there is malaria, they, they survive better, they can handle it better. But if it reaches new areas, then the local populations are not used to that disease and the death toll is getting worse and worse. So that's a problem. That's why the vaccine is so important now.
All right, fingers crossed for the vaccine then, Shirley. Thanks very much indeed. Shirley Sipon, our science reporter for us there.